Hi, I'm Nancy Specia, and the community that I worked with this year are women with a chronic illness that is unresolved through traditional medicine. I've been a part of this community almost my whole life. So um, I'm also a CPA. I specialized in healthcare, and um, I'm a certified health coach as well as an author. I'd like to introduce you to someone in my community that's a typical patient. This is Lee Noel. Uh, at 43, Lee was, her, her world was turned upside down. She was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis. Her rheumatologist told her that if she did not take Humira immediately, she would be blind and in a wheelchair in six months. Well, things didn't go so well for Lee. She told her doctor she wanted to get a second opinion. The doctor was so offended that she retaliated, went to her insurance company, told, her, told them that she didn't have a problem, and they dropped her insurance. So here's Lee. She's got a serious disease. She has uh, no job because she can't work, and she has no insurance. And Lee's not alone. Half of all Americans suffer from one or more chronic health conditions, and the majority are women. A chronic health condition is anything that lasts from three to six months or an entire lifetime. And to put it in perspective, 10 of the seven causes, leading causes of death are um, basically caused by three chronic health conditions, heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Many people suffer silently and you can't tell by looking at them. If Lady Gaga hadn't put this on her Instagram recently, you'd never know that she suffered from lupus. So our medical system is great when it comes to treating acute care illnesses. If you have uh, appendicitis or a broken leg, it's great. But two thirds of doctors surveyed felt inadequately trained to treat chronically ill patients. Basically, they give you a diagnosis based on your symptoms and then recommend a prescription medication to manage those symptoms. But there's a, a new model of medicine that it, we're moving toward that does a much better job treating chronic illness. It's called functional medicine. And rather than looking just at symptoms, the doctors are trained to look at the underlying causes, like inflammation and imbalances, and then correct those imbalances so that the patient often recovers. And uh, what's good about functional medicine is it's really up to date. They take into account how your genes are affected by your lifestyle, your diet, and your environment. So for the last year, I've been working in this community, pretty much embedded myself in, using these social journalism tools that we've been taught. And I've interviewed 25 members of the community to learn what's going on, what do they need. What I learned is that women have a loss of confidence in traditional medicine. They feel like their doctors are not listening. They also are conflicted because they're paying for insurance and at the same time these new treatments uh, and medical tests are not covered by insurance. They don't want to just get out there and try things, so they need resources to be able to make more informed health decisions. The medical practitioners are in high demand and there's not enough of them. They're spending extra time with patients. They also have a lack of insurance reimbursement, and they're spending tens of thousands of dollars to become certified in this. The Institute for Functional Medicine trains these doctors, but they're also overwhelmed, basically trying to change the medical school curriculum to update it. They're working with legislation and with insurance companies, and they're not really able to give the patient or the doctors everything they need. So I asked myself, what can I do as a journalist for this community? I've created a WordPress site called chronichealthbridge.com. It's just about complete. And the key features are to explain what functional medicine is. I provide turnaround stories. I've collaborated with the community. And um, one of the stories I'm working on right now, for example, is to walk through one patient's journey through functional medicine to actually show people what that looks like. I plan to spend the next year building this website out. Uh, one of the key things that is needed is a better directory for patients to be able to, hook, you know, be able to find physicians. 
And uh, I also am trying to get the conversation going out there and um, health coaching collaboration is a really big part that doctors have told me they would like to learn more about. Some of the doctors are using it. It would really change everything. So this is Kristen Fry. This is the patient that I have been following. Um, she spent a decade with multiple chronic, il chronic illnesses that she could not resolve through conventional medicine. Basically, um, I started from day one with her and have complete access to her medical records, her doctor. I mean, it's a really unusual situation. Uh, so she and I talk every week. We have been for months, and um, I'm documenting and reporting on what that looks like. Her doctor, Dr. Marion Owen, is an advanced functional medicine practitioner. She's a pioneer in the field. She's very excited about what I'm doing and said it's critical. And she's giving me a lot of insight, connections to the Institute for Functional Medicine, as well as patients' uh, access to them. And I take this um, kind of collaboration as it's a very unusual thing to have. Um, it's an indication that this community really needs this, and I'm having an impact already. So what happened with Lee? Well, Lee found a doctor that took on mystery cases, a functional medicine doctor. And within three months, they, they actually diagnosed her with a massive, raging, antibiotic-resistant infection that had embedded itself in her intestinal walls sometime 20 to 30 years ago. The doctor was able to actually stop everything, and within less than a year, Lee was able to, um, she was completely cured. And um, she went on to become an award-winning playwright which she says could never have happened if it wasn't for functional medicine. So Lee's not blind, she's not in a wheelchair, she's completely normal. So the, the community has responded so positively to what I'm doing. They're willing to collaborate on every level, the doctors, the patients, so I'm really looking forward to, to building this out in the future. I've also had some great response from uh, journalists and journalism professors from around the world uh, from an article I wrote on what I'm doing here and how I've applied social journalism. So it's pretty exciting to me when I consider um, my background and bringing everything together. I feel like social journalism has given me the tools to be able to really utilize my skills in a different way so that I can make a greater impact. I'm really grateful for that. So if you have any questions or you would like to contact me, here's my information. And thanks so much.